let's see how we go here. Back at the super duper big board, uh, Case Blue and GB2, look at GB2 maps, 1st of December. I wanted to kind of run through what's been going on. I know it's only been, in terms of game turn time, uh, one or two turns, or one turn in fact, uh, two turns, since I posted an update. But a lot has changed and I thought it might be worthwhile going through. I got my handy dandy Coke here, so I'm all uh, geared up and ready to go. I'm gonna ramble on like crazy. So if you don't want a long video and all the details, tune out, fast forward, go somewhere else. It's all good. This is really for me, try and crystallize what I wanna try and do here. Let's see if we can make something real happen uh, and whether or not I should even begin December's turn or pack this up or start a different scenario or not be so crazy anymore. Who knows? So in the north, Rajev, Viasma, right there, right there, which just has just had a camera. I've got a, uh, I've got supply here. I've got an extender here. Uh, probably not going to be able to afford to bring the rail conversion up much further than this. But with this extender, it's a, a wagon. Uh, I can throw pretty close to all the way up to here because this is a, a secondary road and it's, uh, I can be wherever uh, up here somewhere, count back five and uh, and throw forward. <coughs> so I can actually, re all these guys are in supply. They knocked out a Stratmo unit here. The 7th SS Cavalry did a great job there. These are cool little units actually. Um, you know, force these guys to retreat or stand and fight and die, which will probably happen. Um, And we will we'll go through this exercise of clear on this road. Have to take Cullinan in, in December so that we can cut supply off this edge of the map. And then, if possible, I want to try and meander, as the German player, meander my way to this rail line here, which will be the second rail line that heads north, off the north edge of the map. Okay. That would be the goal in general. And that would also, uh, I think, tie back to some of the directives that were provided to the Germans uh, in this section. But the Siberians counterattacked up through here, and I don't think there was, there was as much force as I have up here. I have uh, sixth and first Panzer. Uh, that's one division, two divisions, three, four, five infantry divisions, some extra cav, and some other crap. Nothing worth really worrying about. But that force, has a tough job. There's quite a bit of quite quite a few units here that the Soviets have. They're they're concerned about this area, and what they also can do is is bring forces from up there and and, and let that slide as well. Um, so that's problematic for the Soviets. But the Soviets could uh, could just as easily be placed out of supply by popping units, you know somewhere around here, and that causes the same problem, but it doesn't allow me to get south uh, to Dubra down here and block the block the rail here, which would ultimately be the goal if we wanted to capture Moscow, if that was our goal. Now, not wanting to leave anything to chance, I've moved 7th Panzer, 14th Motorized, and 19th Panzer into this area. They were just over here and 7th was back over there. So I've just kind of moved 7th back around to here. Uh, the first guard cav countered that move by uh, popping into here. So they're committed now, which is a good thing for the Germans. So we now know where some of their better, faster moving infantry rated guys are and they're locked down in individual stacks. So I can attack them piecemeal and potentially get by them. That's a good thing. But it was a desperate thing on behalf of the Soviets. Uh, they just don't have the units to go push up there. So, and they needed something fairly substantial to kind of hold that line. All right. So uh, this is a, these are all hedgehog all the way across to here somewhere, I think. Are they? Maybe they're not. Yes, and don't forget, it's, no, they're not. There you go. Oh, that's kind of ugly, right? So uh, that's the situation. Here's the main road into Moscow. Here's Kubienkas right here, just out of view, right there. And that's where the main defenses begin for Moscow proper. Now, I, I don't believe that it's impossible at all for the Germans to capture Moscow without choking it out as opposed to physical combat. I don't think there are enough 
forces in the game to physically attack and drive through what would end up being you know several layers of infantry because I, I would literally just stack this in one two three level hedgehogs and just pile it all up here and it didn't matter how bad the units are and make make the germans pay in, in heavily in supply to make to make these attacks but I do think it's possible to try and surround them. If you look at the rail, note, rail net to the rear of Moscow, there's a line here which is covered by Dubra. And this goes off uh, through Kiln, off the other end of the map, Kalinin and Kiln. And then you have this line and this line, and there's another little line here. They're the only other lines off the map. And unless the, the Soviets were able to construct extenders, which they certainly could, they would be in a really tough situation if I could get forces all the way around there. Yeah, I don't think that's entirely possible, but I do think there's an opportunity down here to at least have a shot at trying something like that. And so here we go. Let's have a look here. In the last video I made, or the one before that, I talked about uh, gathering forces around this road here uh, and Tula, but faking the attack on Moscow and then heading south and then going for a big encirclement in the south with the view that we weren't going to be able to take Moscow. Sevastopol probably is not going to fall and I'm probably not likely to get Rostov this turn, uh, this, this month either. Now that said, uh, we will, uh, we th I thought, okay, let's, let's, let's plan for 42. But as I looked at this, I was like, man, I can get... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions, eight, nine divisions, 10 divisions. I've got 10 divisions here that I can try and push this way, or even better, I can come around here and hit this area, and then try and, and come across all these rail lines here. Now, what's gonna be the mitigating factor to do that? Well, obviously the Germans, the, the Soviets would probably react to that. They're going to see all this force uh, built up here and they're going to react. Now, these guys, I need to flip all these out to not fueled. And we haven't rolled for initiative yet for the 1st of December. Uh, so, and I would also have to supply them, right? And that's going to be the biggest challenge. So what, what have I done in preparation for that? What I've done is I have an extender... A truck extender, where did he go? I moved him, where did I move him to? Hello? Here, I moved him to here. Uh, he's not flipped yet, but I put a block on him just for that reason so I could find him. He can count back, once I clear this, there's few little units here out of the way. These five trucks can count back to Orel, all the way down there in the dark, there. They can count back and uh, and keep us in trace, which means I can then pop a HQ, say, uh, you know, take the Panther, fourth Panzer Group HQ, and I can move him one, two, three, four, five, maybe up to here, which happens to be, I think there's a village here. No, it's not. Don't worry, it's all good. We'll put that guy there, we know where they go. Um, I can put an HQ here somewhere, and that's gonna allow me to throw forward uh, ten, 10 spaces, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's no road, poop. Anyway, I, I've worked out, I can get to here somehow. I did it before, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's gonna be seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 to there. So I also have this five wagons here, these five wagons here that are moving up and they would provide an additional extender. I would pop, that's what I was gonna do, is pop an, an extender here somewhere. Move the HQ up and that would allow me to reach right through the back of uh, Moscow. Interesting, huh? Who knows, that, that's an option, I think. It will clearly be heavily countered by the Soviets, but it makes the Soviets now spread their lines even thinner. They have a lot, probably have a lot of reinforcements coming in December that I haven't really had a good look at yet. Uh, supply is going to be a challenge as well, but I do have a fair amount of supply up here. I've managed to husband resources fairly carefully. 
and I've got uh, 4SP here, there's 3 back over here, uh, and I have another 4 at the rail, there's a rail junction right there, I've got 4 all the way down there, so I've got a fair bit of supply, <clears throat> but I only have wagons to move things up because I'm I'm bringing all this crap forward and I'm, I'm trying to make a, a, a double extender. So it's causing problems. And I keep losing freaking trucks on my replacement rolls, which is really hurting the Germans a lot. Okay, so that's Orel, that's the Orel to Kalinin section of the map. And that's what I would probably do. And if I played that out, I think I would call that uh, the end of the game if Moscow fell. I'm sure the, 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 the Soviets would have kept on fighting, but at that point, look at all these units we would have taken off the board. It would be somewhat of a moot point to try and carry on the, uh, carry on the good fight with uh, very little of an army left. And the Germans in a position to fortify Moscow and you know, do whatever it is they're going to do and prepare to defend their supply lines against any potential massive assaults that may come in the January 42 time frame. Okay, uh, in the south. So that then changes plans in the south a little. And it would mean that uh, a lot of the forces down here would have to kind of manage as they are. There are four divisions down here in this area. So we've got 9th Panzer, 16th Motorized, 17th and 4th Panzer. I'll move my coat out of the way. And they would, uh, whilst they're pressing in this direction, you know, there are the for crying out loud. See these five trucks just sitting here? It's little things like that that I do that really freak me out because I think what I did was I broke up five trucks to uh, transport. So now to be sure, I'm gonna have to go back and count how many trucks I have, how many I've lost. <laughs> oh shit, all right, that's a drag. Um, so we, we, these guys here are going to, uh, they're going to focus on two things, Rostov in the south and uh, Sebastopol down there. I'm already pulling four divisions from the north, four infantry divisions from the north and railing them down uh, as fast as I can to Sebastopol, the Sebastopol region, which is entirely weak. I think there's only six divisions down there and a bunch of uh, Axis allies. I may have to, uh, and they're all little dinky battalion things. I may have to peel off the Italians or the Romanians and send them to, to Sevastopol. Uh, I only have one uh, mechanized division down here, and that's the LAH. The, the SS guys here, Liebestad, or whatever they're called, and uh, a handful of other units there. So I think I'm getting close to running out of space here, so I'm gonna probably stop this video in a second. Uh, the phone is pretty full with bits and pieces. So th then here I've got, uh, just real quickly, I guess, we've got uh, the Italians and uh, two other divisions here, 16th and 14th Panzer. Uh, that's that stack there. And uh, some other forces here, SSW. And there's the SSW guys, they go over there. Um, their job is to press along the Donut down through here and I want to try and cut, once again, try and cut supply, break the line down here somewhere, pull these four divisions south. I'm probably gonna leave some infantry and other bits and pieces around here to prevent any sort of build up around the Varnes, Varnes area. See that as an opportunity for the Soviets to build up some strength here and really try and hit this rail line in Kursk, which has nothing. And a rail is also hardly defended at all. That's one thing that the Germans are gonna to have to start uh, paying attention to as forces build up. The biggest problem for the Soviets is being, so that's what the Germans plan is in general, right? So preparing for 42, but looking for the looking for the, the moral win in, uh, in the, uh, in the north by capturing Moscow and then calling it a game, and maybe uh, maybe then switching to a southern a southern scenario, and we'll still pack up the GB2 maps and we'll just play a southern scenario, and can maybe keep going from where we are or something like that. Who knows what we'll do? Okay, uh, let's talk about the Soviets real quickly just before I run out of space. Uh, the Soviets, uh, I think, have done a better job than I thought they had or felt like they had 
what they have had going against them has have been great supply roles, but really crappy uh, replacement roles. I've had, I think, three or four turns in November where I got either one packs or two packs or none. And uh, never have really received a substantial amount of uh, reinforcements. And it's really caused a big problem for, uh, for the Soviets in terms of being able to replace forces that are lost. This is the loss pool over here. It's just freaking enormous. Look at all those HQs that are out. 12 twos everywhere. Uh, and if we look at replacements for December, get a little bit of natural light in here quickly see if I can find where the December replacements are, reinforcements are, there they go. Um, yeah. Oh no, it's October, November. Oh, December's up on the wall. Is it? Yeah. Let's go have a look. So we can see, you know, very substantial it's not going to focus now. A very substantial reinforcements coming, um, and all that's in GB two pretty much. So I mean that's going to help. That's going to help uh, pre prevent the Moscow push if the Germans do decide that. And you know, and, that, and then the Germans obviously get pretty much bugger all in December. It's their their low point for the game. So that might actually change the, our thinking, right? If uh, if the Germans, if the if the if Moscow is going to be so heavily reinforced uh, in the first two or three turns of the game, that's going to make it problematic for them to pick pick up, uh, press through, and break these uh, these rail lines here. Um, Mm, it's really going to cause me to have to do some thinking there on that one. I'm not sure how I'd want to handle it. So that situation, I know that's an awfully long video. Sorry about that. And, and like I said, a ramble, but there it is. Talk to you soon. Not sure what else I should say. Should I say anything else? I think we're done.